Hello and welcome. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode 35 of Let's Play the Prince of the Thane mod for Crusader Kings 2. And uh, let's chance it. I'm, uh, oh crap. Hmm. We can't even assault for a month. We're in trouble. We are going to need to do some desperate stuff here. Can we get more men? Hey, we're actually getting a bit of a levy up here all of a sudden. Got some conversion happening, some Catholic, some Saxon culture has already spread, so we're getting rid of some of the penalties on our newfound land. In fact, most of the penalties seem to already be gone. Which is surprising. Are they not as long? Different religious group only lasts... Yeah, they're much shorter now. They, they're your, In normal Crusader Kings, they're like 30 years. They're much shorter in this. Cool, so we're already getting some levy from up here. Um, do we have any boats up here? Looks like we do. Well, let's raise up all the boats individually along the coast. And then see how many we have. 20. Well, we, can, we can get some men. 2,600 from up here. Let's send them towards the coast. Unless, of course, you're already near boats and you can get on them. Like you, for instance. How about you just get on the boats? Apparently these boats belong to that county. Doesn't look like it though. Okay, what else can I do? Ah, oh, shoot. Cannot hold to any of that. Mercenaries? Is it worth considering mercenaries? I'd hate to, hate to do that, but then again, if I'm going to lose all that money, Hey, there's his army. Let's go let's go kick his army's ass. That might help us out. That'll probably get us more war score than anything. Nope, no white piece. I don't care how dicey it gets, I'm not gonna give up. Are you surrendering? You want my sister to marry your my brother-in-law. Mm, no. Only I get claims. As you watch some birds darting nimbly through the air. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep, so that's a learning event. Come on, we got to get his army. October 6th, October 7th. We'll go there and then we'll chase him down. 88%. It's pretty scary. 20th. 26th. You're a fast little bastard army, aren't you? Do we have any people who are organizers? Come on. King Alex Rack the Great has inherited a shire. Okay. And we can't give it away because it's currently got troops in it. Okay, well, let's get all these men on the boats then. Okay, come on, catch them, catch them. I'm apparently trying to create some sort of a flying contraption. Doesn't sound very wise to me. I feel like my men... What do you want? No. No one's allowed to marry my sister. My sister is not going to give any of you claims. That's foolish. The prototype of your flying machine is nearing completion, but it would be ill-advised to pilot the thing yourself on its maiden flight. Fortunately, you know of several, several promising candidates who would probably be persuaded to take this historic leap of faith on your behalf. Otis, the cook's overweight son. Meldrick, the local dung gatherer. Or the dog, belonging to the blacksmith's daughter. Uh, let's go with the the overweight son. Sounds like he'd be too heavy. The dung gat. Let's let's, let's, uh, let's do this one. 
Never mind the fact that we're at 93% war score for the Holy War here, but... He's just a, a quick... You find a suitable, suitably steep cliff from which to launch the maiden flight. Meldrick hesitates, but after a combination of threats and cajoling, he agrees to be strapped into the contraption. You push him off the cliff and hope for the best. Plummets down like a sack of stones trailing debris. Oops. This little bastard is quick. Meldrick is bruised and battered, but alive. Your flying machine was a failure. And to make matters worse, another scholar in Sedovia has allegedly made his own functioning prototype. Just as you are about to surrender to despair, Meldrick gives you a toothless smile and says, I have a cunning plan. I will regret this, but let's hear it. 23rd, 30th. God, you are just too fast for me to catch. You must have a, a leader with that organizer trait, and I need another one to compensate for it. Trickster. No, nope. we don't have an organizer. Smart little bastard kid. Um... All right, let's do this. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Send those 598 that way. We'll send... All right, so you 598 go there. You 644 go there. U6000 go there. How he did it will forever remain a mystery, but Meldrick has managed to steal the rival scholar's flying machine. He gleefully brings it to the cliff, but his grin vanishes when you inform him he will be flying again. You send him over the cliff, and Mel <laughs> Meldrick enters a brief spiraling dive before slamming into the ground. <laughs> so it wasn't just my machine. I feel better now. <laughs> All right, come on. I, I'm hoping... By spreading my army out, I'll be able to catch him with even just a small bit. Despite your efforts, it seems the secret of flight will have to be uncovered by future generations. Your attempts may have been unsuccessful, but you have learned much about the value of science and scholarly research. Your learning has improved. Good. Anyway, yes, we've managed to capture him with some of the army. Now we'll send the remainder of the army and hopefully crush it. There's 6.9%. Shown great prestige, and many strokes through, though with a little axe, hew down and fell the hardest timbered oak. Battle's not lost, we still have a chance to win. I'm pretty sure we already did win, but with a blunt maneuver that could turn its destiny on our side. Uh, victory is not ours yet, charge at the enemy will... whatever, let's just see what happens. That gave us a tiny bit of war score. Hopefully he re-raises another army that I can attack. My sister became a charismatic negotiator. We're now wealthy. This army's gone, so we can get rid of that title. It's pissing everyone off. Because I'm over my limit. Can't it? What was it called? Lejola. It's not letting me get rid of it. And it must be because it's currently occupied by... him. That's assault. Now we can get rid of it. Get underneath our limit again. This army's too small. Um, go pick up the rest of the men. 91% again. Shit, shoot, shit. Shoot, shoot, shit. What else? Oh God, it's that ticking war score. It's monstrous. 127%. I just... I think I'm going to have to assault and just see what happens. Let's get all these men on here. Quick, 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 quick. Boats are here. He's going to pounce on me here. As soon as he does, in three more days, we will send more men and support the army there. We should win. Whose army is this? Zemgalia. Tell me it's your army, please. It's not. It's that guy. I don't really care about that guy. Okay, well, um, generally, when you have five times as many, you can win. So, let's hope. Uh, it's 
brutal, but we did it. Okay, thank goodness. Now we can be patient. Captured High Chief somebody. Excellent. Um, this guy wasn't a threat, though. <laughs> Could ransom him for 145 gold. I mean, we're going to win that war eventually anyway. We'll ransom him back and just keep on <laughs> being really, really foolishly aggressive with, like, ten wars at once. Crap. My reputation's ruined because um, I'm still apparently plotting to kill this stupid brat of a brother of mine. I don't care if everyone knows. My mom's probably pissed off. Devious schemer. She still likes me, though. I mean, I'm awesome. Now, we need to attack him further. Let's make sure we've got commanders for this army, though. Feel, for, feel pretty good about the odds here. Yeah, we crushed him. Chase down that army. Can we raise more? Can raise some, but not in counties where there are currently enemies, so... Hmm. Very dicey combat. And yeah, we'll combine it all into one army now. He's trying to hunt me down. Okay, let's just get on the boats then. I have a ton of money right now. Hey, an actual sun. Good. Title loss in succession because I've got that bastard. Um, I don't think I'm going to die this... I mean, I'm 20. I'm, I'm, I'm looking pretty solid. I gained one health that was a base health increase because of that event I did a while back. Plus, I am a trained fighter and a knight and a skilled tactician with plus 0.75. So altogether I have plus 1.75 health. I probably have like 6.75 health. I'm pretty darn strong. And um, I think we'll be okay. I don't think I'm going to die, so I'm going to just not worry about that for now. Wrap up this many, many multi-war issue first, and then uh, one, once that is done, I will then... Let's get rid of that. Once that's done, I'll worry about murdering people. I'm still wanting, of course, if my... If, God, if my mom... If I could kill that stupid, stupid couple of brothers here... I mean, he's weak and everything. I mean, no one likes him. If I could just kill them, then I'd have a whole bunch more land that I could use. And what's the Holy Roman Emperor up to? Shoot, see, he's stabilized his realm. He's already... No, oh, somebody must have taken over. He's 37. So that, that kid didn't last long. There goes my window. Oh well. If we murder those boys, we'll be in a good position. I should probably do something with all this money. I've got 1,100 gold. Let's do a quick through, quick thing through here. Ah, uh, sure. Let's just build these things. These things are really good. They're just really damn expensive. We just built five of them. Yes, you little brat. Surrender. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Um, got a lot of titles from this one. This is a good conquest here. Okay, now we'll go crush that army and then go there. It's definitely more advantageous to attack armies versus ignoring armies and trying to siege, it seems like, in this mod. Just based on the way this, I mean, that, that war went, so... Saxon, good, good. You can have that one. You can have that one. When my sons get older, I will um, continue trying to do that Norman culture thing. Alright, so this guy is the one I'm about to attack, and this guy I'm going to attack too. Okay, we've just gotten what? Hey, our castle finished. Mm. So I'm going to create a vassal, but not transfer it to him. And then I'm going to try killing him and getting that claim, that county, at some point. Should probably set him as special interest so I don't forget. And 
we're continuing. Maybe I should probably take a look at all these plots. God, I get so there's so many of them, and there isn't a end all plot button, which I would just love. Can't do any of this stuff because we're not at peace. Anyone else want to help me murder my brother? No. Nope. Well, let's see. Is anyone plotting against anything specifically that I don't want? Someone is trying to investigate my wife's... No, I don't want you to do that. Somebody said on a comment somewhere that if I go here and I request them to stop backing plot, that they will like me better. Let's see. Supposedly 50 opinion. Let's wait until he responds. Okay, so he accepts. Yeah, discovered backing a plot, plus 50. Wow. That is one way to definitely improve relations. Okay, so we've got a new steward. Let's do that, and let's train troops. Sure, why not, whatever. And now, it definitely, I mean, all these people, um, it's, it's a lot of micro, but um, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, do that. I mean, if they're going to like me better for exposing them without actually, you know, getting them in trouble. Lots of micro. Micro, short for micromanagement. Fun, fun, fun. But then again, this is a grand strategy game, so I'm gonna only do it on the people who are counts, count or higher. There's a lot of them. I wonder how long this modifier lasts. Actually, that's all of them. Good. I was getting tired of it already. Okay, let's just attack his two armies here. He's heading to there next, so we'll chase him and follow him. You guys can all say, yep, 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 yep. Get all of these opinions. I did that many of them? Holy crap. Um, and now, I will go through and imprison depending on the chance. Uh, no, I don't I don't really want to deal with it. Um, if they were dukes, I'd do it. 27th, 23rd, we'll catch this army. Hey, charge, that's right, run away. Excellent, I'm now a skilled fighter. Another, another plus one health. Excellent. I am a fast. I am so strong. And let's go to that guy's land there. Which one's weakest? Looks like probably this one, because it's got two subholdings that will be exposed. Very good ruler. And we're now an excellent ruler. Good, good, good. Let's just get rid of all these. It's a lot of stuff. And... Sister wants to get married. Mm. Okay, fine. Let's find her. Um. Get married. Prince of Croatia. Let's see how much these would get us. 44 prestige. You would gain 44. So both of us. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that one. That's fine. I'm not worried, really, about anyone attacking me, so it's fine. Let's just wait and siege this one through, and uh, we're almost done with all these wars. Just four more. <laughs> these two are the only ones that are still positive, or uh, not not positive yet. 
one siege of this holding and then attacking him up there should be all that we need. That guy... 155% because I don't have any of his land, but the battles have helped. Let's break off a small detachment to go crush his army so that I don't risk losing that at all. Probably about 1,500 men I think would be safe. And make sure that I'm leading it or somebody's leading it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't mind leading it. I like all the events that you get. Plus, I am brutal. Like, look at that. One more time, the health modifier. I've got plus 0.75, plus 1 from the event that's not documented. It's a base increase. And then we've got plus 1 here. So that's 1, 0.75, 2.75. I'm probably at literally like 7.75 health. We get 142% combat in hills and forest. 71% to mounted troops, so... God, I'm a beast of a military dude. Caught him. Good. Combat is the best teacher. I've become a more proficient commander. Alright, so I'm no longer a skilled tactician. I lose some... This is that weird thing where I lose general opinion, but I gain more health and more martial. So I've gained another .75 health. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. And I've improved my learning. Excellent. Well, let's work on stewardship next. That was worth another 13%. And we'll send this army here. We'll siege through both of these, and we should be good. Okay, I'm going to wrap this one up here. And uh, ooh, I'm kind of worried about that. If he gets his land back... then that war score is all of a sudden going to jump up and he'd probably actually win. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to have to handle that. So let's raise up the boats that are up here in the north. Get at least, say, oh, I don't know, how many do we have? 18's plenty. Send the boats to the Baltic Sea. Grab, say, 1,500 men and go crush that army. Okay, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you again soon.